Hey guys, Fumbleweek here today and welcome back to Prison Architect. Uh, we are going to continue building up our prison, maybe eventually we'll get some actual inmates in here at some point. But until then, <laughs> until we do such thing, we will uh, take some more grants. Uh, we are going to get maybe, I guess prison maintenance, because that's going to get cleaning and groundskeeping and all that kind of stuff. So we'll maybe do that one there. So what we need to do is unlock that stuff through bureaucracy, which I think we were starting to do last time anyway. Yeah, we're unlocking maintenance already. And then we're going to unlock cleaning after that, which is through here. So then we can start doing all those things. Anyway, in the meantime, we need to intake 10 criminally insane prisoners, which we are not going to do because we're clearly not ready for any of that over this side. So let's hold off maybe for a minute. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys are saying this guy was stuck here. Uh, that's okay. We can just get a door for that guy. Which is gonna go about here. I will just do just build that door. If you if you want to build that door right now, you'll be good. You can get through. Maybe. Hello. No. Okay. Someone else will do it. <laughs> I guess. Um, we could also just hire more workmen. That could be a thing that we could do just to get stuff done a bit quicker as well. But you know, whatever. All right. So let's do. I want to build these cells because we need to get these done as well anyway. Um, and I'm gonna put these toilets in the correct spot this time because I really wanted them on the, the inner wall here I don't know. I messed it up on the other one. So these are gonna go on that sort of inner wall there And I'm wondering is a toilets in these cells good. I mean Should we have the psych ward? I feel like they should have more stuff in their cell than just a toilet and a bed Like I feel like maybe their shower and stuff should be in here too, you know, I don't know like I feel like they should have more within their own cell rather than away I don't know. I like, I f it just seems like it might be unsafe to have them mingling, but I guess we're gonna have to have them mingling in the canteen anyway, so who cares? Right, so that'll go there. Uh, and then we can do the showers uh, down the end. So we've got, what, eight in each cell area, so we can get seven along here. Uh, we'll do three there. That's way more than we need. So maybe what we'll do, what if we do this? And then we, no, okay, let me, let me, <laughs> let me start over. Here, this is what we'll do. We'll do this, one between each. Look at that, beautiful. We've got four there. Five, six, seven. Hmm. Well, now we can't get eight. Well, seven's enough. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, and then up here, we'll just do that. Great. Okay, cool. That uh, solves that problem, right, guys? I also missed one while doing that. Fantastic. Have they even finished cutting down all the trees yet? I don't think they have. So that's the thing that they're still doing. Anyway, so that's all going to go in. That's great. And then we're going to get the pipes in, uh, which we have not done yet. So that's going to come up here and come along, I guess, to this point here. Then our toilets are all on the inner... Whoop, that's a big pipe. The toilets are all on the inner wall this time, which is much better. That's going to come down. And then we've got the showers through this... Whoops. Through this section. And here. Might as well just join that pipe underneath there as well. That can come up. Run along the top and back down there. All right, so then we've got obviously the kitchen area here, which we'll plan out in just a second. And then also the canteen once we get all this going. All right, that's looking pretty good to me. Um, I mean, we got a few trees left. That's okay. You know, that's good. This is looking pretty good. We should probably, why do we have a bed here? It's a box but it's just placed here for some reason. Anyway, they'll move it, I guess. Oh, that person's gone, great. Okay, let's remove that door, I guess, because we don't need that door there. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And then let's put that wall back. Hopefully this time when they put the wall back, they won't build themselves on the other side of the door. Uh, there you go. And then these things, please. There you go, there you go, guys. And then I'm just gonna say priority to everything that's actually in the prison and not the stuff that's over the other side of the map. Thanks, all right, day nine. Oh, and we need to unlock cleaning uh, through bureaucracy, so let's do cleaning. And then we've got to do uh, groundskeeping, hire a foreman, hire two janitors and a gardener. Okay, so let's get groundskeeping after that as well. And then we need a foreman. So, wow, you can have- oh, that's right, because the foreman's teach classes, that's right. I was like, wow, you can have more than one. It's like, yeah, they did that a while ago. Oh, yeah, you guys said that we can actually have... Um, there's a new chair that will fit in the middle of these desks better than these ones. So let's do this. Are we dismantling all those, please? Uh, yeah, so now they're going to be a little upset because their chairs are gone. I, I feel like they're not dismantling these anymore. Even though I told them to do it. There you go. And then this one, please. But they really don't want to do that one. Okay, there we go. Uh, so there's a new chair. Let's see, chair maybe? 
Uh, oh, office chair. Oh, the double wide. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, the moose head's in the way, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's move the moose head. Come on. Okay, let's get let's get all this in, because I want to see this, because I'm sure it's going to look epic. And then we're going to get that new chair, this one. Oh, yeah. They're all going to have that chair. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, there you go. I mean, they still got the drawers kind of in the way, but that's okay. Where's my moose head gone? We're putting that back, because, I mean, that thing was expensive, so... <laughs> we might as well actually utilize that. How's all this going? This looks pretty good. Uh, looks good, guys. Good job. Uh, pipes are kind of going slightly. Very slowly, but very surely. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out what we're doing in this area here. So we got the kitchen. Well, actually, let's go rooms. Uh, so this is going to be a kitchen right about here. And then this is going to be our canteen right about there. Beautiful. And then I guess we want logistics so we can actually assign all this stuff right as well. So where is that? Micromanagement. Mm, no, we want... Oh, no, it is actually micromanagement. Okay, yeah, let's do that. We definitely want that. And we want to get security and I mean we really kind of want all at least the main stuff here so we might as well just queue it all up and maybe get the extra grant yeah let's do all those so they're going to be doing that stuff for a while which is good uh now we get to hire two janitors and at least one gardener but we'll do that soon let's do this area here first so we're going to go for a uh bench oh table small oh well let's get the serving tables first so we're gonna get a serving table there i feel like we only need one so i'm just gonna do the one a little bin in the corner there, and then we can always add more stuff later on. Table small, maybe there, there, and that doesn't fit in the middle. So maybe what about this way? So there, and then there, that works. And then we can go bench small. Yeah, here we go. Oh, lovely. How many, wait, how many of these seats? You know what, that's what we didn't do last time as well. We didn't actually count how many seats we had. So these are four each. So we've got four, eight, 16, uh, 24. Wait, sorry, what am I saying? 20. <laughs> wait, why did I go up 8? Uh, yeah, so wait, let me just check that again. 16. Okay, yeah, I started I started doubling halfway through there for some reason. So anyway, 16, 32, and then we've got 20 cells. So we have a little bit of extra space down there, which is great. And then over here, we've got 16 cells. 14, 16. So that's actually, that's actually all the seating we need right there. But let's just, you know, add a little bit of extra... We'll do that. That'll be fine, because then that's still there's plenty of room to like move around in here. And then the kitchen wise, we're gonna go cooker, 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 cooker. We probably don't need this much, but you know, we're kind of like just building up excess in case we need it. And we get sink up the top. And then we're gonna bin next to that in case we need it. Uh wait, which it's really hard to tell which way this is facing. Yeah, that way. And then we're going to get a little pipe, which is going to go straight on up to that sink. Right to there. And then we need electrical for all of these. And then hopefully... Oh. You know what? No, we don't need that. Oh, it cancelled. Why? Okay, I cancelled the utilities. They still do that thing. So I cancelled the utilities, but it cancelled all my planned objects as well. <laughs> so annoying. Because we've already put a, a power line there, so that should actually all join anyway. Alright, so that's going to be there. I don't know if that's going to shut that off, but we'll see how we go. Let's do all that, please. Thank you. And then we've got a few extra rooms. So we do also need to worry about doing a staff room because we have staff needs, which aren't... I don't think they come in, into effect until we actually get prisoners. So we're probably okay for now, but let's just get a staff... This will be a staff room here because we need one anyway. So there's going to be a wide sofa, wooden stool, drink machine. Easy. A couple of wide sofas. We'll do them like this. You know, beautiful. Do a large TV. I mean, these are kind of just facing each other, so it's not a great layout, is it? Let's do this. Uh, we're gonna go like that. Oop. And then maybe like this, so it's like sort of in a little arrangement. Arrangement. And then... Well, this, I was gonna put the TV in the middle, but it doesn't really fit. Maybe we'll do a TV... You know what, let's do it the other way around. Let's do it like this, and then do it like this. So you face the TV. There you go, that makes more sense. Uh, and then we can have... So one over there. Then they also need a staff cafeteria. I, may, I don't think they need it but I think it helps and we can also give them so I'm going to put that in there and then because I think you can get the kitchen to serve them and then what is that vending machine it also said we could put in here well it said we needed one so we'll do a drink machine over here another wide sofa and then I think we should give them a bathroom too because what you guys were saying is we can put all those bathroom amenities like in the like in a staff room or something so maybe we'll do that let's click here and then we want this and then 
Let's do like a little bathroom or something here. It doesn't need to be big. We'll just do something like that. And let's get him to build that room. And let's fast forward. A little bit faster. Thanks, guys. We could definitely get more workers, but, you know. Are we still dismantling all these trees out here? Because we should be. Let's have a look. Dismantle. Yep. Still on the cards. Maybe we should just get them to do this so it's done with. You know, like, so it's over and done with. Because it's going to be like a thousand years before it's actually done. Alright, so let's put this wall back. Because I've just... Oh, there goes the power. Yeah, I thought we might have uh, <laughs> had a little bit of an issue there. So let's go in here. We want uh, no utilities. We want some more capacitors. Uh, so let's go one, two, three. That should be enough. Let's get those in now. Please, thank you. And then we can turn this back on as soon as those are in. And we're going to say switch on. There you go. Much better. Okay, so then that's going to go here. And then we got to... Have a wall there. They are putting a wall there. That's good. And then we'll just do a regular door. Just there. And then this is going to be... Well, I guess does it need to be a door? Hang on. Maybe maybe not a door. Because I think it's going to kind of be part of the staff room. I think that's how we used to do it. I don't know if it's changed, but... So this will be part of the staff room. But it's like kind of another room is the idea. So what we can do... Maybe if we have like a wall there like that. Objects, bathroom, sink... Right here, get a couple of bathroom sinks, and then we can get, uh, was it a hand dryer? Little hand dryer right there, beautiful! And then around this corner we have some toilets. We have four toilets in there, and then maybe because it's, um... We can add some stuff in here, why don't we just get like a little lamp in the corner? I don't know, we'll just de decorate this room, because there's like... A bunch of random stuff we can just put in here, like a coat stand as well. There you go, and I was thinking maybe we should do another bin in here, because if there's, um... This right here, I mean, I feel like bins are just useful in general, right? Although, having said that, I can't seem to find it down. There it is. Oh, wall light. A little bin there. Can I... So, if, does this actually just work as a light? I mean, I don't, that seems like a dumb question to ask. But, I mean, I guess so, right? So, I guess you don't need ceiling lights? <laughs> yeah, it seems like a really dumb question. Oh, I need a little toilet sign? Oh, that's so cool. Alright, so that's our little bathroom now. Ah, oh, yeah. And then, will this... Let's see if this water pipe will reach, because if we can just use this, I will. There you go. Alright, so let's just say, prioritize all of that, please. And then let's go flooring, not that we really need to. But our staff room can be the nice brown carpet. Mmm, yeah. And then we can get some nice tiles. The bathroom area. Sure, why not? There you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. And they're even using them, too. How about that? <laughs> Alright, so we've got a really nice staff room. It looks like the door's blocked with the coat stand, but it's not, so it's fine. Um, okay, so how's all this stuff going? We've researched a lot of this stuff. We're getting psychology now. Uh, can I, like, cancel? No, I don't need to cancel stuff. Never mind. So we're doing that. We already did micromanagement. That's really good. Okay. Deployment we're going to want as well. Um, we need a chief for that, though. That's all right. We'll get to that eventually. Okay, so now we can also uh, take another grant because we, uh, uh, we did... That other thing. Anyway, let's do a short-term investment. This will just give us free money, uh, which is great. So we spend money now. We'll get 11,000 later. So we'll just let that run. How long does that take? That is uh, just a few days. And we get 16 grand instead, which is pretty cool. So that's good. So we got staff room there. We've got all this up and running over that side. We need... Well, I mean, we don't really need anything else. We're kind of just trying to get as much ready as possible. So let's get our two janitors. And our gardener to complete that grant. There we go. We got a bunch of money. And then we can take another grant. So let's go ahead and go in here. We're going to go for a... Let's see. Let's do visitation rights. That's a good one. Uh, so we do... We don't even have a common room. Which I guess I might build... We've got this weird fence here that doesn't really join anything. Uh, but I think I'll do a common room down here. Maybe like sort of off or we'll extend. We can extend this yard area down a bit. So what I'm thinking is we're going to go in here. Get our wall classy. We can come down this way. And then this can also be utilized. So we'll sort of split this up. I think we'll maybe extend this hallway coming down so we can get visitors to come around this way as well. So that'll come down here and then they can come through here. Sorry, through here. Yeah. So we're going to have the hallway come down like that. We'll keep the holding cell there, I guess. I don't know. And then this can come into a visitation room here maybe. And then, yeah, I don't know. It'll sort of, it'll work. It'll make sense. Uh, kind of annoying though now that we've... Can, we, can I keep this, this, this barbed wire actually? Because if I like, dismantle it, do I get to keep it? Uh, that'll be great. 
Oh, yeah, I do get to keep the barbed wire. That's awesome. Okay, that's actually really, really good, because we're going to just extend the yard area. It's going to come down further and sort of just take up. It's just basically a nice outdoor area for these guys. Man, I really got to turn off auto light whenever I do these things. I keep forgetting. Uh, let's get in the walls that we're missing here as well, because it's just destroyed half of them. So let's get those back in like this. There we go. Uh, Alright, so then this can come down to... Well, I guess it should be a hallway that keeps going because it seems kind of dumb to just get rid of it. So we'll have that hallway go all the way through and then maybe this can be the visitation room and then maybe down here could be a common room or something. Or maybe that should be the common room. Just because it's closer to all that stuff and then this can be a little bit further away. I guess I should have also just built uh, more stuff here. Let's build this too. Okay, so we've got this guy stuck in this room here, which is now going to be a common room. So I think what we'll do is we're going to go rooms, no, we're going to go walls and doors, and we're going to get a door. It'll just be a regular door, I think. Oh, uh, actually, hang on, before we do that. Oh, I thought I, um, I guess I need to dismantle the walls, or demolish walls. So get rid of that fence. And then I guess we'll put a, let's just do a jail door here. Do we already have one? I think we already had a jail door, but I think I just used it. We are using the like, like light gray stripes or something, I think. So let's just put this here. Oh, it's not a centered door though. That's so annoying. I'll just put it on the top then. Sure. Oh, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's do a smaller one. Do it in the center, because then we can add uh, metal detectors really easily around that. All right, get him to do that first, please. And we'll make him come through this way. I don't want him going through the canteen to get to it. All right, so that's going to go there. Then we're going to get... Uh, I mean, I guess eventually more cell blocks down over here. We won't build them right now because I don't want to do that. Let's get a fence that now runs down the bottom, which is going to be built out of this. So it's going to go down to here and then along like so. so that will just sort of enclose that area a little bit more safely. And then we're going to do a common room in here like so. And we're going to get some utilities running down into here. So I'm just going to get this one. No, I'll get it coming down this hallway. It just makes more sense. So come down this hallway. Out to there, we can just go into the room here, go into that room there, that one come down here. And we'll get him to come build this real quick. And we also want doors to all these rooms. I'm not really sure what half these rooms- I don't know what this room is. I haven't figured that out yet. Oh, actually, also now, I want to do a cleaning cupboard, because we should have that unlocked, right? So we're going to do a cleaning cupboard. Uh, I was going to do it up here, but I don't know if I want the criminally insane cleaning. Maybe we can build one down here somewhere. Let's turn one of these into a cleaning cupboard. So let's go for a wall. This is where our uh, inmates will be able to take a job and start cleaning the prison for us. So we're going to turn that into a cleaning cupboard. So that's just going to be... We'll just do a regular door. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what this room's going to be. So we'll just put a regular door in it for now. Oh yeah, let's have a look at it logistics as well. So we can see the uh, kitchen that's up here is supplying the, uh, I guess, the psych ward and also the staff room, which is fine. So I'm not going to change that. And then this one is, this kitchen supplying this one, which is supplying the holding cell. Uh, what I don't know why it's supplying this hallway. That's odd. But it's also supplying those two cell blocks, which is good. So that's, that's good to know. I don't know what's going on with this hallway, why it thinks it's supplying that, but it is. Let's get some sweet wall lights down here. Because I want because it's a little bit dark down this hallway, so let's get some wall lights to see if it works. Hell yeah, I want to see these. Oh yeah, look at that, it's beautiful. They even have a slightly different color. Alright, let's get them to do the rest of the trees that we have left over. Alright, so this room down the bottom here is going to be a visitor's room. Uh, so we're going to have you know, visitation down here, like so. Uh, and then we'll probably, uh, so this will be the door where our, uh, visitors will come through and we'll probably have a separate door, maybe even put a wall here that our, uh, inmates come through just so it's completely separate. But for now, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so whatever. Uh, let's go visit a booth. Actually, can I, um, filter this? No, I was hoping I could just show the items. There was a button to show the items, uh, that are, I can put in this room, but whatever. All right, so we're gonna get, we need three of these tables. I guess they're just gonna sort of be in the room because there's not really any rhyme or reason to this room. It's a little odd at the moment. Ideally, I'd want to do visitor booths so there's complete separation between uh, you know inside and outside the prison. But for now, this will do fine. Uh, I guess I'll just do that thing I was talking about. So we get the striped door to go here. We'll do a smaller door. We don't need to be such a big door. That'll go there, and then we're gonna build a wall. This guy here is going to be a cleaning cupboard right there. Uh, and then we could also do a laundry, which would probably be a good idea, because then we can get our uh, prisoners to help out with that. Oh, I guess, actually, I don't think you can do a laundry until we have prison labor. So let's actually get that. We want prison labor. That means I can work in the kitchens, do cleaning, 
all that kind of stuff. So we'll get him to start doing that because then we can get that in as well. Put that probably down here. Uh, I guess we need a door here. Put that there. Then we'll get some concrete tiles around the outside. I usually like to just do concrete tiles around like this and then have like a nice center with uh, just grass or something. There you go. Beautiful. So we'll get all that done. I think they've done cutting- they've done cutting down all the trees. There's still a few logs, I think, around the place that they haven't quite got yet. But for the most part, they've got rid of it all. So that's just giving us a bunch of money, basically, which is great. So now for the common room, let's do this. Because we gotta get a- I think it said we need another TV or something at some point. So let's get another TV. It's got a pool table in here as well, I guess just over here. Kind of wish I didn't put the TV there now because it's in a weird spot, but I guess the pool table will go here. So there you go. And then what else do we need? Five phone booths. So if we get some chairs now, they can all sit down there and watch the TV. That'll be nice. Yeah, that's the zone. They can all sit there and watch the TV. That's good. And then we're going to get some phone booths, which we will just, I guess, put over here. No, we won't because that's weird. We'll do it like this. There you go. Alright, so they'll go there. That's- It's a pretty sad common room. One little TV and one pool table, but that's all you get. You know, we're in prison. You know, we can't- We're not made of money here. Although, we seem to be running just fine without any inmates. So let's have a look. What do we want to get next? Build a staff room. Hire at least five guards without assigned duties. Ensure none of your staff are exhausted. Alright, let's do that. Because that should be pretty easy because we don't have inmates yet, so none of our staff will be exhausted. We just gotta hire more guards and then we're good. And then we're done. Free money. Great. Although now we have more staff, we could just fire them again if we want to not worry about that, but whatever. Inmate health and well-being. Build a medical ward. Hire at least two doctors. I mean, all of this stuff is pretty good. Oh no, there's one little shower up here that didn't have water. Oh wait, no it does. It was like flashing a second ago. Maybe it... Wait. It like just doesn't reach. You see that? Like that one flashes and then one up here flashes. I think like this one here in the... Yep, there it goes. Uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll just do- what if I do one extra pipe just there at the end? Will that catch it? I don't know. Anyway, so let's- sorry, I was getting- I got distracted. Let's get the, uh, health and well-being. So we'll build a medical ward. I'm wondering where we do that. I guess maybe here we could even have it in between these two sections. So it's like, it ex it sort of joins these two parts of the prison together, but also still keeps them separate, because it's sort of a, uh... I guess a buffer, if you will, between two prisons. I think what I might do is not build an area that big, maybe about this big, should be fine. We'll build that section here. This will be the medical ward. And I'm also going to say probably go dismantle that fence before you uh, do anything else. And objects as well. Can we dismantle that? Because we got some barbed wire there, which I would like back. Thanks. So go do that. That'd be great. Okay, so I'm going to go build that. All right, that looks pretty good to me. So what we're gonna do, I'm not actually sure. Uh, let's just build some walls and figure it out. Uh, so we're gonna continue this whole way through. That's gonna go there. This pathway kind of just comes in and stops at that wall. It's kind of awkward, but I don't really know what else we could do with it. Like we could have, uh, like it can come down and sort of come to this area, but it's still a little odd. Uh, I guess it's just gonna have to stick out. Let's just do that and then what we'll do is we'll dismantle this wall here or demolish that wall there. So then the hallway sort of at least lines up with the outside. We can have a door there and it doesn't look as weird. And then we can use this sort of inner section here for all of this. So we're gonna do jail door with yellow stripes large here. And then we'll do another one, I guess, down here. We'll get these done, and then that as well. Now, I know you're stuck currently, which is fine. Well, it's not fine, but, you know, it's just the way it is. Uh, visitor door, remote door, secret door. Let's do a solitary door here. So this will go into... So it's a pretty heavy door. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. That's really... That's gonna be really annoying. Let's just do a staff door. <laughs> Uh, actually, no, sometimes prisoners need to go in there, especially if they're doing stuff. Let's just do a regular door. If we have the nice secure jail doors either side, it should be fine. Okay, so this is gonna be a, uh, infirmary. And then we'll do a morgue just next to it, which will, I always do the morgue just coming off of the infirmary, so it'll just be there. So just like this, and then we want to get out the stuff we need for it. So medical beds will just be here. Three there, and then we can get three there. And then if people die, we can get some nice morgue slabs. Get four of them, and then we have the nice infirmary and nice, uh, all that kind of stuff going there. Uh, and then what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna add another... 
door up here, which will sort of, I guess, act as the end of this jail block here. So we should probably have one for the start too, because currently we don't have one. Maybe I'll do one here, and then we'll extend these white tiles just under that door. Uh, okay, so that'll go down to there, uh, just because that will sort of mark, I guess, this whole sort of uh, psych ward area. And these will probably be psychologist office or whatever, because we're going to need those. Uh, what else can we research while we wait? Because we can't quite get that stuff yet. Oh, we need orderlies, don't we? Uh, let's do that. We need orderlies. We need... Remote access is good, but we also need to hire a chief. Patrols is good. Uh, deployment is good. Surveillance is good. I think we kind of want all this all this stuff for security. So let's, um, let's get a chief in here. Do we have another office or do we have them all assigned? We currently have them all assigned. We have a few more down here, but they're kind of in that area. So maybe we'll build some more offices around here. So I'm going to build an extension that goes along here. Oh, and let's also get a psychologist. Uh, so this room here uh, is going to be a office, if I could find it. Here we go. So this will be an office, probably this as well. And then over here, we're going to have an office here and here. I just haven't built the walls. And let's get the walls in. Walls like so, then I was leaving that as a hallway, that's why that's open. That's already good, and then we're just going to do some flooring. Uh, what other flooring do we have? We've got cargo floor, carpet red, let's do another red, we haven't done a red in a while. Let's do a red, we haven't done enough brown, let's get another brown over here. Maybe another blue over this way, and then maybe a brown again. Oh, we're going to need a psychiatrist over here for the psych ward. So I'm going to change one of these into a psychiatrist, so we'll have a psychiatrist and also a uh, office. Oh, I had a free office down here anyway. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Anyway, we need a chief. Hopefully he'll go in there. Yeah, there we go. Great. So the chief can now do some research for us. Those will change into staff doors. And we'll just get the stuff we need for these offices. I don't know that we're going to need to fill these offices just yet. But I think it's probably good to have them up and running. There you go. Mixed them up a little bit. You know, like rotated stuff around. A few different things here and there. All right, so a psychiatrist's office. We're going to need... Office desk, uh, leather chair, so it's kind of the same sort of stuff, but also a wide sofa and a filing cabinet. Okay, so it's basically just a wide sofa we also need. So we'll get that over there, and I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a, a smaller... Can we do it? Wait, can we do a leather sofa instead? Oh yeah, we can. Hell yeah, let's do... Unlocked after 10 more psychi psychiatric sessions. Oh, okay, well, never mind, we'll do this. Alright, regular, and then we'll do a smaller sofa. So this is like where the psychiatrist sits, even though they don't. I think they just walk around, probably. Uh, and then we'll get a desk. I just thought it looked cool to have that there. So we'll get a regular office desk for here. And then they can have a nice big leather office chair, because those are the best. Hell yeah. And filing cabinet. I think that's all we need. Alright, so yeah, the psychiatrist's office is good, and this blank office here is good as well. So we've got a few blank offices around the place now. Alright, so our chief is now doing a bunch of uh, sort of unlocking and researching for us too, which is really, really good. Uh, so we'll let him do that for a while. Uh, over here, if we get a couple of doctors and all that, we can complete this. We get two doctors, and if we also get, what was the other one? A psychologist, uh, which can go in, I guess... Well, the problem is a, a psychologist kind of needs to be accessible, so maybe this one? Yeah. Because then it's accessible to this ward, at least. Uh, why do I keep saying psychologist? I mean psychologist. Sorry, not... <laughs> A psychologist isn't even anything. We have a psychiatrist and a psychologist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Um, yeah, we want them to be accessible to where the prisoners are, so we probably want another psychologist down here somewhere so these guys can get to them. Or maybe even in here is a good idea. Uh, maybe that's what I'll do. Can I do the quick build? And then we're going to go clone. Clone this office. And we're going to rotate it. And we're going to put it down over here. So it's just going to be in this sort of uh, infirmary or this medical ward area, which I think is a good spot for it. So it can go there. So we're going to get that built, please. Thank you. And then I guess behind that, uh, we could do like a cleaning cupboard or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out for that. I'm not sure yet. This will probably be a hallway, maybe. I actually want two psychiatrists. Requ each requires an office. Uh, so might just get another one here next to this one. So I'm going to put some windows in these so they can see out, because that might be nice. Alright, so we're going to hire two uh, psychiatrists, which will wait until we actually start taking in prisoners to do that, because I figured, well, there's no, I guess there's no point doing that now, because we'll just be paying them for no reason. This person has no power, so let's get a power cable that runs all the way down here, and all the way down, and also into this room, and I guess into that area, which is not, well, we can't go in there yet, so let's not do that. Alright, so that's going to go there. I guess I should probably get more grants, because we've, we've kind of done... 
all that stuff. We could get long-term investment. It's just more free money over time. We could do this one, uh, just a security sort of grant. That's pretty straightforward. Um, we could do cell block B, because that will just give us uh, money to build more cells, which we can probably quite easily do. We're nearly at the next level anyway. If we build another whole cell block here, we still have enough capacity here. So I'm thinking maybe, can I clone? Can I clone this whole thing? Because that'd be ideal. Oh, I can. That's fantastic. Yeah, let's do that. Let's clone the whole thing right there. Build that. Boom, that'll add another 10 cells onto this number. It's gonna plummet all the way in as well. So we're just gonna do the same sort of thing that we did on the other side. Come along there, come along the middle. There we go, beautiful. And then we're gonna get the power cable as well, which is just gonna run down to here, run straight up the middle. Should be good. All right, so that should pretty much add that whole cell block in there quite easily, up that number. And then we got this whole beautiful space and if we get some more security guards, we're going to unlock patrols soon anyway. Uh, we just need to hire five more guards and then we're good. And then we also need orderlies, but I don't even know how... Do we just put them in here? I'm going to put you here. There you go. There's an orderly. There's another one. I don't know that we really need them, but hi. All right, let's just do some staff only area. So like that's going to be staff only. The main area is going to be staff only. Uh, all of this area is going to be staff only. Yes, all of this, and then uh, that's going to be accessible by these guys. That's all good. That's fine. Maybe the morgue can be staff only. Um, and that should be good. I think the rest of them, they can just sort of go wherever they want. I guess that hallway there is staff only. Other direction. I think we can tell our staff to, like, not walk through. Hopefully the kitchen, maybe, now. Uh, they still seem to want to walk through the kitchen. I don't know how this works. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that they would not use this. <laughs> I mean, the only real way to stop them doing that is just remove the door at the top. But that's for convenience sake, so they can get to the deliveries easily and like the storage, but... I mean, that guy followed it. I guess not the workman. The, the guard seemed to follow that. I don't know, man. All right, I'm gonna leave this part here because we're a few cells away from uh, completing cell block B already. And I think we're pretty much good to go uh, to actually get prisoners in next part. But I want you guys to leave your comments down below if there's anything you wanna see me add or change before we do that. Or if you have any ideas, let me know. And then we'll sort of get that sorted before we go into the next part. Um, obviously we still wanna do, a, but there's still a bunch of stuff we wanna add in, but I think we should probably just get the prison actually making money. Uh, before we start, you know, going too crazy. Like, we can do mail rooms and shops and classrooms and forestry and libraries. There's so much stuff we can do. Um, so I guess we'll wait till we actually get prisoners to do most of it. But we've got a really good starting uh, section right now. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.